Hello everyone, my name is Alex. I am relatively new to making videos. This is my start, my attempt to create, to build a YouTube channel. And in the first video, I just wanted to share a little bit the background on why I got to this and what my plans are. So long story short, uh, over the last couple of months, I uh, was doing a new job. Uh, I'm now in sales. It was quite busy, quite challenging. The reason why is because um, previously I was in project management. So as you can see, the domain and the intricacies are very different from one another. Now, um, I've after a couple of months, I found myself again with a little bit more free time, less stressed out about work, uh, wanting to do something for me. And I found myself on YouTube, watching YouTube channels, and uh, I, am, have, I have always been very fascinated about content creators and what they put on the, on the web. So um, I thought to myself, well, why not try this myself? Um, I thought this would, could be quite fun. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because I am trying to improve my public speaking. Again, it goes hand in hand with sales. And I'll get to the how and why's in a second. Uh, I also wanted to express my creativity. I believe that I'm quite a creative person. And last but not least, I just want to have a little bit of fun doing something, again, as I said, for myself. Now, if we deep dive into the points that I just mentioned, public speaking. Yes, I could be doing a course online or, or in a physical classroom, but that's not really me. I like to learn things by doing and um, also through, essentially, it sounds weird, but bear with me, through distractions. Let me give you an example on how I'm trying to tackle this with a metaphor or another example. I'm a person who likes sports, so I like to be physically active. Now, I'm not the person who goes to the gym because I don't like the idea of counting the reps that I'm doing. It's a, it's a concept that is boring to me. But uh, how do I stay sport? Let me put it this way. How do I stay fit? Well, I find other sports like skiing or climbing that also do the trick for me. Let me break down the point of public speaking. The reason why I want to learn public speaking or improve my public speaking skills is because I want to lose the fear of public speaking. I don't like the idea of a big uh, audience. I have a little bit of stage fright. Um, I serve blurriness. I, long story short, I freak out. Also, I think it has a lot to do with the idea that I am scared of other people's opinions. And this is something that I want to train myself to lose essentially. The way I would love to do this is the same way I tackle sports. The way I tackle sports, in a nutshell, is not by going to the gym because that is too boring for me because I don't like the idea of counting reps because it's a very painful process for me. But instead, I do uh, other sports like skiing or climbing. If I stick to climbing as an example, when I'm climbing, when I'm at the gym, the climbing gym specifically, um, I am more focused on getting up the wall. Uh, I'm finding my route. I am trying to find the right position with my body to, again, complete the challenge at hand. So as you see, my mind is essentially distracted from the actual, let's say, workout, uh, but instead I'm doing a puzzle. The same principle I would love to apply in content creation, or let's say public speaking more specifically, by uh, researching content, writing content, the planning content um, that I can put in my videos. By doing this, by making these videos, essentially I will find myself on a journey where I automatically will lose stage fright, um, will improve my public speaking skills automatically. And I think this is a very brilliant idea, if I may say so myself, uh, on how to tackle this. Again, you probably can tell that I am a little bit, let's say, uneasy with uh, sitting in front of you, in front of the camera, um, speaking to you. Again, this is something that I would love to lose. Now, um, 
The second point that I'm trying to do is, again, mixed in with the first point is the, the creative expression. I consider myself quite a creative person. I like to think outside the box. I challenge the status quo. I always try to find other ways of doing a specific thing. And I do enjoy the, the liberty in my head to come up with new, new ideas on how to present things, how to draw things, how to, um, I don't know, again, express myself. And this is the fun element for me, which is, you know, very intriguing. Last but not least, the, my final point is I want to have fun. I think creating a YouTube channel is extremely exhilarating. It's very interesting. Again, this whole notion, this whole world of, of making videos and how the algorithm works and, you know, trying to find topics that people are interested in. And, you know, in the process, learning something uh, alongside, be it either of uh, making videos or the topics that I'm talking about. I mean, if no one watches the videos at the end of the day, I mean, no fall, no harm. I mean, it is what it is. It's fun. I tried. And, um, but at the end of the day, it's all about um, starting with the vision at the end and building towards it and enjoying the journey along alongside. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I still am quite exhilarated about uh, how this is going to go. Now, if you're still watching this video, I thank you very much. Uh, I really hope that the next video is going to be better. But, you know, you have to start somewhere and they say the first 50 videos are not good. If you're still here, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope it wasn't too bad. Uh, this is quite a new experience for me, but I would appreciate your support by if you would press the, the like button. Uh, also, maybe leave a comment and I hope to see you in the next video.